Hey guys, awesome Wednesday report here coming to you, Ohio waters of Lake Erie. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to get you every week a day where we talk about just the ports that are in Ohio so that my Ohio listeners can key in on those. Of course, there's lots of other great fishing, but so we're gonna talk about today the area from the reefs in the Cairns area out from Monkey Marina to the West Sister to the firing range, kind of that more, more over towards Toledo area, not really Port Clinton. Then we've got a great Port Clinton report coming to you. Great, um, great big fish actually are being caught out of Port Clinton and east of the islands as well. So stay tuned, two great areas of Ohio here on the Wednesday morning report. So hey, we've got a couple reports from the, uh, from the reefs area uh, out of Menke Marina. Now Rocco Papandrea, who's a buddy of mine from three decades ago at least, has been running the rock and reel sport fishing charters out of Minky Marina, and uh, he's a reef jigging specialist. Now Rocco certainly control with the best of them, but to be honest, Rocco loves this early time of the year with that rod in hand, slow drifting action, and popping hair jigs on the reef. He's really good at it. His customers come and fish in his boat because they like that rod in hand experience. Now, of course, later in the year when those fish abandon the reefs post spawn and head out into the big water, Rock will be out there chasing them, trolling and or casting eerie deeries or drifting, whatever you, you want to do. But Rocco's an old school fisherman. He can do it all. And so if you're looking for a unique trip, rock and reel sport fishing, for the next four or six weeks here, we're gonna be pounding lots of fish, big numbers of fish in shallow water all the way out to the reefs, starting at Minky Marina and going right out to the reefs in the Cairns area. Get a hold of Rocco, give him a call. He also later in the summer might morphs over to perch fishing. So you'll wanna write his information down because Rocco is a perch addict. If you're gonna be addicted to something, perch is a good thing to be addicted to. Rocco loves perch fishing. He's your guy for late summer perch fishing as well. Now, Steve Webb is a friend of mine who's really a troller and uh, he sent, and you're seeing some of these pictures coming across the screen of this big monster box of fish. Well, Steve tells me he has just been destroying fish in the, in the water. Oh, you know, in and right around the reefs and the cans. Really, that's his area right now this time of the year. The tip for you guys is he's pick, picking relatively stained water, not total mud, but a pretty good stain to it. And then he's running bandits 25 to 40 back. So he's running them fairly high and he's running really dark colors. Guys, the key to fishing stained water is dark colors and contrast. You really, if, if you look in dark water, a black or a dark purple bait shows up almost better than any other color in that stained water. And when you take that purple and put a little bit of maybe a yellow fire tiger, an orange fire tiger, or a chrome uh, ladder back stripe in it, purple and chrome would be a great one. Um, you know, black and green, black and antifreeze, those are all great combinations of colors, black and orange. Uh, those will really work good. I know that Domka Outdoors makes one called the Milkman that's quite black with a little bit of an antifreeze head to it. I've used that bait a lot. That's a very good bait. Uh, I use that both in deep reapers and in bandits. Steve fishes a lot of bandits. I tend to mix in a lot of deep reapers as well. So you can kind of go back and forth. But right now, high fish, so bandits and reapers are gonna be 50 and up, 25 to 50 out. Uh, here for the next oh, couple weeks at least while these fish finish their spawn and they get, stay up in those upper columns to warm up, to recover, to feed heavily post spawn and then they start heading east. But boy, I tell you what, there's gonna be a lot of great fishing around the reefs for the next two months. So stay tuned for more reports. Thanks to Rocco for a great report. Thanks to Steve as well for a great report. This is our RRH210. This is a rod holder, all welded oval base. It turns and rotates 45 degrees each way, side to side. But in this case, I'm actually using it in the front side of my track. Got it in there, turned 45 degrees forward, and it's a really nice, stout, all aluminum rod holder. So we're using this as a net holder right in the front to give us a real good, solid, secure place to put a net. RRH210. Hey guys, John Bergsman. Hey, we're live on the water here in Saginaw Bay and we're gonna go ahead and give you a great Port Clinton, Ohio report. And uh, 
This is the Bay's Edge condominium report and Shannon over there from Bay's Edge Bait and Tackle tells me that the fishing is awesome right now going out of Catawba. They're, the fish, the primary fish are one to one and a half miles off to the east of uh, Catawba right now. And there's also a really good group of fish in 23 to 25 foot of water east of the monument. A lot of these fish are being caught right now by running bandits or deep reapers. Uh, Walleye Nation's deep reapers, you're going to just want to make sure you're looking for stained water, not dirty water, not clean water, just a nice stain to it. Uh, you can still see your cavitation plate pretty easily. Speeds have been 1.4 to 1.6. Uh, leads out uh, on a sunny, nice day where you got calm conditions, you're going to want to make sure you're running a couple, two, three of your baits up high, 25 to 35, 45 back with bandits. They're also catching fish in that 60 to 70 back bandits. If you're running reapers, use your precision trolling app because they do dive a little bit more aggressively. And so you, basically what you're trying to do is put baits about eight feet down to about 15 feet down. That seems to be the catch zone where if you put your bait in that column of water, you're gonna have a lot of success. If you're not catching fish, switch up colors until you find it out. But one four to one six, in and around the islands is going good. If you're looking for bigger fish, you're gonna to wanna to go out to the open water east of Kelly Island. Towards Huron, there's a lot of really good fish out there as well in that 42 to 48 foot of water. You will have to send your leads out. Got a good report of some guys doing really well on Walleye Nation Creation Reapers at 90 back unassisted. And that was on uh, the Atomic Shad, which is a bright yellow bait with a blue top. Should be able to find that either online or at most of your bait stores. But uh, really good fishing going on right now out of Port Clinton, Ohio. So uh, I know as I'm talking, you've been seeing these idiot fish go across the screen. It is just lights out right now. Freeway Sports Center is Southeast Michigan's fishing boat headquarters. Freeway carries the full line of Angler Quest fishing pontoons and Polar Craft boats, powered by Honda outboard engines. Stop by our showroom today at US 23 and Thompson Road in Fenton or visit us online at freewaysports.com. Spring, summer, fall, or winter, get to Freeway Sports Center. Hey guys, thanks for joining us today's Wednesday report. Uh, like I say, we're, we're out here having a great time on Saginaw Bay, whacking the fish, and guess what? Stay tuned for tomorrow's report because we're going to have a report right here from Saginaw Bay. Captain Jason Graham from Send It Charters has got an awesome report. Guys are catching fish. We've got warming temperatures. Stay tuned. We'll see you tomorrow morning for another great report coming to you from Saginaw Bay. <laughs>